So on the source switch, can we ping 10, 10, 20, 70, which is the 3750 switch? Yes, we can. Can we telnet to 10, 10, 20, 70? As we can see there, telnet doesn't succeed. We told that the destination is unreachable. Gateway or host is down. So it can be difficult to find where the problem is. This is obviously a very small topology, but if it was a large topology, where would you start looking for the problem? And this is where the APEC EM path trace tool is very useful. We simply specify the source device and the source port. So that once again is the 3560 switch. And the source port that we're gonna use is gigabit ethernet 024. The destination is gonna be 10, 10, 20, 70, which is the 3750X switch. Destination port is gonna be gigabit 1048. We can now specify more options. So the protocol we're gonna choose is TCP. Destination port is gonna be 23. And notice this option, ACL trace. This is the one that you need to know for the CCNA exam. Start trace will hopefully pick up where the problem is in the network. And there you go, it has. So the source device is sending traffic to the destination device, but we have an X on this router. And we told that on the ingress interface, there's a problem. And when we click on view matching ACEs or access control list entries, we can see that there's an access control list called APEC EM with an entry 10 denying TCP traffic from this source to this destination and the port number is Telnet. So this makes it a lot easier. We know which device we need to connect to and we know which port we need to look at. So 10, 10, 20, 73, here's the device. Show access lists. Here's the access list, APIC EM. Here's the entry denying Telnet, but permitting other traffic. Show run interface gigabit 001. We can see that the access list is bound to that interface, inbound. APIC EM has picked up all of that. It tells us the ingress interface and tells us which access list and which line in the access list is blocking the traffic. When we look at the reverse of the traffic, there's no problem here because traffic is being permitted ingress on gigabit 002. So let's have a look at gigabit 002. Show run interface gigabit 002. That access list is also applied on this interface, but because the telnet traffic is in the reverse direction, it doesn't match this entry it matches this entry in the access list. So there's a problem from left to right, but not from right to left, as shown in this topology. This is a very useful application and highlights very quickly where the problem is in the network.